Welcome back to the series Building Web APIs with Azure Functions. This is the third video of the series. We already created our first Azure function in our last video. We will set up our dev environment in this video. Let's go back to Azure portal. Let's open up our resource group and click on add. Let's search for function app and click on function app and then create function app. It has already populated the subscription and the resource group. We will use the same name and again we will be publishing our code and we will use Node.js as our runtime stack and the latest version as the version and we'll use the default region. Let's move on to hosting. Again, we will change the storage account name. And this time we will be changing the operating system as well. Earlier we used Windows, but now we will be using Linux. And we will stick to the same plan, consumption and serverless plan type. We will be using default settings for monitoring and we will skip the tags and then we will create the function app. When the function app is created, go into the function app and click on functions. Then we can see this message. Editing functions in the Azure portal is not supported for Linux consumption function apps. So this is the reason why we created the Windows operating system function app in the previous video because we wanted to edit our functions in the Azure portal itself. This time we'll be setting up our local dev environment to edit functions. Click on add. It has automatically selected Visual Studio code as the development environment and we will follow the guide below to install the dependencies and set up our local environment. By this point, I assume that you have already installed Visual Studio Code, Node.js and TypeScript on your system. We will copy the command to install Azure Functions Core Tools version 3 and we will go to Visual Studio Code. Open up a terminal and paste the command there. It will install the Azure Functions Core Tools using npm. Once the installation is complete, we can verify the installation by typing in func space hyphen hyphen version. Then we need to install Azure Functions extension for Visual Studio Code. Let's go to extensions and search for Azure Functions extension. Let's install the extension. Once the installation is complete, a new icon should appear on the toolbar. Click on the new Azure icon. And notice the function section. Under the function section, click on sign into Azure. It should take you to the Azure portal. Since we are already logged into Azure portal, it will automatically authenticate. Close the browser. Let's go back to Visual Studio Code. And if we refer to the function section, it will list our subscription. And under the subscription, we can see our functions app. Now we have successfully set up our local dev environment. In the next video, we will be creating the to do items API.